If I wasn't making art, I have no idea what the fuck I'd be doing. I don't have a different outlet that I could relate to that experience. So I've always, I've always painted, I've always made art. When I was little, it started with space monsters. So I'd, do, I'd stay up all night just drawing different space monsters on different colors of uh, paper. And I'd like make them battle. I figured out how to cut them out and make a little stand so they could stand up next to each other, you know what I mean? And then, well, then I turned into graffiti and I was tagging a whole bunch and I just, I've always done art in some one form or another. It wasn't until I was in school for film that I realized that I actually liked to paint more than anything else and I decided to try to make a career out of it to actually be an artist. And, um, yeah, now I'm on that road. If I could work with anyone in the industry and collab with them, um, I definitely on the top of the list would probably be Dalek. Uh, his color work is just phenomenal. Um, and I'd love to just be able to work with him. And you know, when you, when you collaborate with someone, you know, you get to share pieces of your process together. And I would just love to see the way his mind works around the colors that he uses. Cause it's just, it's frankly boggling. Um, and I feel like I could learn a lot when collaborating with him. I mean, I, I describe my painting style as, as braids. Um, because that's, that's what they are, the whole concept. Um, you know, because I've done many different forms of art, but, you know, I, I fell upon this because I was trying to do a background for something. And I wanted to, when I was in school, kids would braid together gum wrappers, right? One over the other one and come out kind of looking like a staircase. And I was trying to do that in the background of this picture I was doing. And I did it and it just didn't come out right. So then, I, so, then, so then I broke it down again, and I was like, well, if, if I do it just right, they're just gonna look like squares stacked on top of each other. I have to show some form of transference. So then I was like, oh, if I put a line in here, showing that one's going under and one's going over, I could show that, and I was like, oh, wait, now I can put multiple lines in here, and oh, I can change the colors that are in here, and then, oh, I can I can graduate the hues, you know what I mean, to give them more interest, and then, and then I just started figuring out I can do double braids, I can do triple braids, I can do quadruple braids, and I can change the, you know, change the, what would you call it? Like the plane that they're on, you know what I mean? Warp the geometry to give them different contexts. And then lately I've been throwing shapes over the top to change where the, where the layers and the colors start and stop and change and interact with shadow, giving depth and contrast, but they're, it's all just a braid, like braiding gum wrappers. Man, when I'm when I'm when I'm gone, I hope people just enjoy the work that I left behind. You know, simple as that. I don't really have any large aspirations for it. You know, uh, of course, you know, we'd all love to, you know, have everyone love our work and be gratefully appreciated in any art form that you pursue and you know enjoy. But you know, at the end of the day, I hope people enjoy it. You know.